Here on Beyond Pavement, we showcase different off-road locations around the world. And this week, we're on the central coast of California to be able to show you guys the amazing Pismo Beach Dunes. Those are those massive mounds of sand behind me. But here's the amazing part. Right over there is the beach. Now look at there, right over there, look over there, is the beach. And over there, like a walk away, is the sand. Beach, sand. It's awesome. I mean, like, I know beaches usually have sand, but this is a lot more. Like, you can go surfing and you can go off-roading in the same day. It's amazing, it's fun. I, you know, hell, I'm going, I don't even need a, I don't even need a car. I'm just gonna go. But I need a flag though. If you go out there, you need a flag. I gotta get a flag. Hello, Farmer's Health Point. How can I help you? Hi, this is not just got rerunded by some Yahoo. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine. My car is a little busted up, though. No problem. We'll take care of it. How fast can Farmer's Help Point service get your car fixed after an accident? Well, you get the idea. Help Point is free with your policy. Hi, welcome to Beyond Pavement. I am your host, Jeff Kleinard. And the hottest thing in the off-road industry right now are UTVs, ultimate terrain vehicles. Two such vehicles are right behind me. These are Yamaha Rhinos. These vehicles can go anywhere. They can go on sand, snow, dirt, mud, or just poorly paved roads. Wherever you can take them, they'll be able to handle it. But I don't know half as much about them as the professionals do at ORU. And we have one such professional here with us right now. This is Mike from ORU in Burbank. I'm doing well, Mike. How are you? Yeah, man. Thank you. What exactly are we looking at here? Um, we got the two Yamaha Rhinos, like you said, the UTV vehicles. Um, basically, you use them in the sand, dirt, snow, mud. They're just a fun, all-terrain type vehicle to drive around, you know, for good for the families. Um, we have two vehicles here, one that's stock and the one basically on steroids. Um, what's different between these two is you've got this one here we have, it's an 06 Rhino, it's called the limited edition. Uh, what that means is actually the blue color was their, their theme for that year. Um, it has this, this one has the factory aluminum wheels. This uh, limited edition uh, Rhino has the aftermarket PRP seats. This is actually the only modifications that this Rhino has at the time. So this is where the direction of the industry is going right now. It's, it's gone crazy. I mean, I go to Glamis a lot, and we're you know, like this one here, and they're like in every every campsite. And this one here, it's the same vehicle we're just looking at, but this one has some upgrades to it. Um, we actually put the OMF wheels with the uh, bead locks, real bead locks, which that means is you're able to air the tires down um, to lower pressure, not worry about the tire coming off the bead. On this one here, we put the OMF side panels, and what that does for you is it helps keep your feet inside the vehicle. Your first reaction to you know when you start to roll over is put your feet out. This helps you from doing so. Um, you know, prevents injury. It's a lot safer uh, way to go. And also we had added um, some wheel well protection inside that uh, it just protects the, uh, the, the inner part of the engine and, and all the, uh, the electrical parts from rocks and uh, dust and water, you know, things of that, that nature. Um, also as upgrade this one too, we, we put the Mastercraft seats um, with the Mastercraft seat belts. It's a lot more comfortable of a ride. Um, you've got the full harness that come over your shoulders and it strap, you strap you in, uh, you know, for extra safety. Okay, this one we also added a, a back seat, so we made an actual four-seater. So those of you that have a family of four and all want to go at the same time, um, this is the way to go. Um, with that, also we had to add a, a full cage unit that attaches the factory cage for safety. And it also in the back seat has, you know, the full harness to keep your kids safe in the back. Also on this one we added a, a custom light bar and with that it, it gives you more lighting when you're off-roading at nighttime, a much more visibility. It's a much safer way to go when you're out there when there's you know nothing to see. Um, we also had a rear view mirror so if you've got people falling behind you you're able to see what's going on and keep track of uh, make sure no one's lost or no one's uh, you know broken down and keep an eye on your kids in the back seat also. Um, also on the front bumper here it, it came factory silver like the stock we just showed you. Um, with this one we modified and added some uh, extra light tabs and put some of the Procomp 55 watt off-road lights in there for extra visibility at nighttime. Um, also on this edition Rhino, we had put on the Maxxis tires, which is a, a bigger tire than stock, which gives a little more ground clearance for the vehicle and has a little more aggressive tread pattern to it, so it uh, works better for getting the mud, sand, and off-road conditions. So we decided to put some paddles on. Uh, they're made by ITP and uh, gives you extra traction you know, in, this, in the dunes and uh, basically gets you up the dunes when you want to get there. Uh, also on the back here, we added two speakers. Uh, we put a, a custom sound system in here. Those long rides and comfort uh, just makes more of a drillable ride. Also it has satellite, and it's saying it has Cyrus radio, 
so you're out in the middle of nowhere, you're still able to get uh, your radio reception. This one here, we also upgraded the uh, steering wheel, which is uh, like a built aluminum wheel, which is more like your car kind of feel versus a stock plastic one. It's a little slippery and a little harder to handle. This is a much more uh, comfortable uh, steering setup. That's about it. That's uh, two rhinos we have sitting here, one stock, one modified. And one last question. What makes these so much better than, you know, let's say quads or other things like that? Um, a little safer. If you have the cage around you, it's a lot safer feeling. You got a seat belt. Um, they're just more multi-use, you know, for family-wise. People are not really experienced, you know, riding quads. They'll get this thing and feel more comfortable and it's a lot safer for them. Thanks for telling us all that. And that just makes me want Beyond Pavement to get our own rhino so that you guys at ORU can definitely help us trick that one out too. So if that happens, you guys would be available. That'd be great. We'd love to help you out. I like Mike. Mike's a good guy. We like you. Thank you for watching. And we will see you next time on Beyond Paper.